Hello and welcome everyone to this uh, first video of a series of videos where I'm going to explain how to set up NSXT for vSphere with Tanzu. Um, things you need to look out for when you're setting up vSphere with Tanzu with NSXT. Um, and in this series I also will explain um, what is being configured on NSXT if you are going to create namespaces or do service type load balancer in your supervisor cluster. So this is the first of the series. And in this series, I will talk about what you need to configure in NSXT to get started with vSphere with Tanzu. And after this video, I will create a second video where we will show uh, what you need to do in vSphere and how to set up the workload management. Uh, we, we go through the wizard of workload management to set up vSphere with Tanzu and what you need to, um, what you can expect in your environment when it's complete. So for starters, let's continue with NSXT. So this is my NSXT environment. Um, I'm going to first show you what we've got in the fabric part of NSXT. So to get started, obviously you have NSXT managers installed. Uh, in my lab, I have only one due to resource constraints, but in your production environment, it's always have three. And I have one single cluster and two edge nodes. So let's have a look at the fabric and the nodes package. So in this environment, I have two edge clusters configured, edge one and edge three, um, and they're running on top of the compute cluster, which is being configured with vSphere with Tanzu. Right now, uh, I've set up a single edge cluster as you can see here, and added the edge nodes in this edge cluster as a member. In terms of um, vSphere connectivity, I configured my vSphere environment. And what's worth noting is that I've enabled the trust so we can allow the full inter integration with vSphere. And this is required for vSphere with Tanzu to be enabled. Um, this is my single vCenter, vCenter server appliance 02 where the compute cluster is configured. That also means that under my nodes, under the transport nodes, I have a cluster, a single compute cluster, and I configured the, the hosts in that cluster for NSXT. Um, these hosts are configured with four uh, NICs, and two of them are being used for VDS7, which is an NSX switch right now, configured as an NSX switch. If we look at the configuration of these hosts, I can show you how that's configured. Um, so we use the VDS standard mode. We configured to be using the compute VDS. We use overlay and VLAN transport zone. And I've linked an uplink profile and I'm using IP pools. Note that I'm using also the intertap feature. So I'm sharing the same VLAN ID and the same transport network uh, for the tap interfaces uh, for both edge nodes and hosts. If you look quickly at the profiles I'm using. So this is the uplink profile being used by the hosts. I have the default MTU, but the, actually the MTU is managed by the VDS, which is set to 9000. And my transport VLAN is 100. Note, I'm also using uplink teamings, uplink teaming policies to have specific traffic across a specific physical NIC. So first of all, Geneve traffic is being low balance source ID using both uplinks. And I use a number of teaming policies to make sure that specific traffic is only going through specific uplink. For example, my top of rack traffic, I need to send through a specific physical NIC on my host. And the active uplink to uplink standby, uplink one active uplink to standby will be used for the connectivity for my trunk segments towards my edge nodes. So if I go to the edge nodes, I have the same transport VLAN configured, VLAN 100, MTU of 9000. And looking at the teamings, I only have, uh, obviously I'm doing active-active for Geneve traffic. Um, edge nodes do not support standby uplinks. So in this case, I'm only using uplink one and uplink two, name teaming policies. 
to send uh, north-south traffic through a specific segment. This is also bound to my transport zone, which is required for that to work on my VLAN transport zone. Um, so if I edit it, you can see that we have these uplink teaming policy names connected or configured, so we can use them. And if we quickly go to segments, I can show that the trunk A and trunk B segments, which are being used to connect my NSXT edges to, are NSX segments and have these uplink teaming policies configured. So for trunk A, uplink 1 is active, uplink 2 is standby. Whereas for trunk B, I have uplink 2 active and uplink 1 standby. This ensures that we send active active Geneve traffic through these trunk segments. And in case of a failure of a physical nick for the host where the edge nodes are running, we can actually fail over to the standby uplink and avoid any black holing of traffic. On VLAN 101 and 102, these VLANs are specific to for connectivity towards my top of racks, uh, routers and switches. So in this case, VLAN 101 is supposed to only connect through uplink 1. So what happens if I configure tier 0, I put interfaces into VLAN 101, and the interfaces of the tier 0 will only go out through uplink 1 of my edge node. That makes sure that in case of a failure, we have a deterministic path towards the physical network. And if any component in that path fails, we have a deterministic failover detection and we can send traffic through the remaining uh, available uplinks across the other interfaces. And these are configured in VLAN 102. And I specify only uplink 2 to be uh, being used as the uplink teaming policy. And that brings us to uh, a final thing we need to configure for um, uh, vSphere with Tanzu is that at least you need to have a, a tier 0 configured and ready to go, nothing else. So no lot tier 1 or so whatsoever, only a tier 0. So I'm using an active, active tier 0 and I'm using ECMP with BGP uh, peering configured to um, have the maximum available throughput and availability towards the physical network. So. I have configured four interfaces, two interfaces on each edge node. So edge node one, fabric A, edge node one, fabric B. You can see that fabric A is towards top of rack A and up fabric B to top of rack B. And on edge node two, I have also a fabric A and a fabric B, which is also pointing to a specific VLAN and a top of rack. Um, Furthermore, we configure routing, BGP, peering, so local IS, BGP is enabled, we allow inter-SR, it's default enabled when you allow, when you configure ECMP, and then I configure my two BGP neighbors, 101, 102.1 for a remote AS 65001 and 65002. So these are my top of racks, and this ensures that we have uh, all required BGP sessions towards the physical network. And finally, I enable route redistribution. And this is needed to make sure that any ingress or egress IP is being advertised towards the physical network. So in this case, I want to advertise once vSphere Tanzu is configured, my load balancer FIPS and my source net IPs and my net IPs. And I also chosen, have chosen to uh, uh, advertise any connected interfaces and segments. And that's because I'm also running general workloads in this lab alongside vSphere with Tensor workloads. And these are connected to uh, manually configured tier ones, for example, uh, where I do a free tier app or, or, or something else. And I also want to be able to reach those IP addresses from my jump box or my lab environment. And that's about it you need to do in NSXT. Um, what else? Yeah, no, this, this is it. Um, once you've done this, you are ready with preparing NSXT for vSphere with Tanzu. This is just one example where uh, I have an active active, but you can also do active standby or static routing whatsoever. This is just one example, but at least you need that tier zero to be ready. 
In the next video, I will talk about the vSphere part, what you need to prepare there to get started. And we walk through the demo, um, what you need to do uh, and what I use uh, when I configure workload management for, for example, my ingress and ingress network settings and how that looks once that's completed. So thank you for uh, watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if there are any questions, uh, please feel, feel free to comment uh, and I will do my best to, uh, to answer them. Thank you so much.